If you've ever had to select multiple files in Windows, you probably already know the ways to do it. And although they're not hard or difficult, they might not be the easiest or exactly what you're looking for. We know that if I go ahead and open up my Windows Explorer, and I'm going to go to my music library here because I want to, let's say, pick a few songs. So what do I do? Well, I can hold down my left mouse button and click and drag to select a number of songs that way. Actually, let's make this bigger. But the only problem with that is it selects all of the songs as they are next to each other. What if I don't want all of these? Maybe I just want uh, a couple of them. So we can also go ahead, we can click here, and let's say hold down my shift key and click down there, and well, that's great, except it does the same thing. It selects all the files in between. You probably already know that if I select a file, hold down my control key, now I can go ahead and select a bunch of different files that are not next to each other. But watch what happens when I try to scroll uh, to get down beyond the bottom of my list there. Well, that's not exactly what I want either. That's a little bit confusing. And of course, if you let go of the control key, you can scroll down. But then what happens is you forget, you click, and oh man, all the songs that you had selected are not selected anymore, and you have to go back and start all over. Well, they figured out a way to do this, which is a lot better, a lot easier, and all it takes to do it is just one little click on the checkbox, and you'll be good to go. Let me show you. We're going to go up to our Organize drop-down here, and Organize, and right there, click on Folder and Search Options. Once we're in the Folder Options window, we will click on the View tab, and we're going to scroll down here a little bit till we find this one. Use checkboxes to select items. I'm going to check that, choose OK, and look what happens here. See that? As I hover over each of these, I get a little checkbox next to them. And all I have to do is click in that checkbox, and they will remain selected. Unless, of course, I click off of the files, then they're deselected. But that's a lot easier, isn't it? And it's not just music files, it's any files. Let me go to my pictures. And see this? In the corner, checkboxes on all of the pictures. And let's say that I selected one I didn't want. Oh, all I gotta do is uncheck it. I can even go in here and select folders and files at the same time. Pretty neat, huh? I don't know about you, but I like this a lot. And that's how you can use checkboxes to select multiple files. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.